Welcome back to uh, Nazis. We don't do that. We never do that. Are we live? Yeah, we are. I was just saying we never do welcome back. No, we never do that. So uh, your wife wants you to go get checked up by the doctor. She's mm -hmm. going to go grab a bite to eat. I'm, um, I'm still in the fucking... Oh, no. No, we haven't left the water yet. But it gave me pants because I had the suit on, right? You still have the suit on. Look at your arm. Yeah, I see that. Because the suit's on and your, your shirt and... Pants are presumably having holes popped in them. Remember the good old days of FPS games where you looked down and you couldn't see your feet? <laughs> yeah. When you were just a uh, disembodied gun floating in midair. Whoa, having a party there. <gasps> There's a pig and a... Um, so I found out more information about the guy with the head thing. Okay, you found out more information about him? Yeah, he's a pacifist, and when he was a kid, he got part of his brain taken out. We only have people who left. Oh, because he was a pacifist? Yeah. So they, they applied like... Oh, no, no. I oh. think it came after. And oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But I think he doesn't want to kill this pig because he's he's that. And now he's sad. For now, Piggy is saved. For now. These Wait, what's that button next to you on the left? Behind... To your other left? To your right? Uh... Other right? <laughs> You're what? doing exactly the opposite turning left. Left, left now. Uh-huh. There. Bombate? Oh, that's not a button. No, this is character. The His name is Bombate, I think. Isn't it Bombate? That could be it, too. I'm just assuming because he wears, like, a dashiki, so. That's true. Uh, I like that you get to see everyone's, like, quarters. He has really nice digs, though, yeah. He does. This rug really pulls the room together. <laughs> Don't pee on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, whose room is this? This is, I presume this is Max's room. <laughs> yeah, this looks like Max's room with the enormous crayons. Holy shit. Yeah, for his giant man hands. Oh, oh wait. You can inspect uh, Max's belongings. From Klaus to Max. I don't know who Klaus is. Oh, you can eat his cookies. Oh, never mind. Oh, sorry, I'm winding <laughs> up the music box. Can you not eat his cookies? Uh, I guess they're for Max. Oh. He drops cookie. Fair. <laughs> Some messy boy, Max. Max, clean up your room. Wow, you guys really uh, cleaned up this place. I'm going over here because there's a couch and a lampshade. Oh. Caroline. Almost looks like, uh, hey, it's uh, David Bowie's new album. <laughs> Starcard? <laughs> that was Starcard. <laughs> um. Is that the is that the most recent David Bowie album you can think of? Black Star. There you go. <laughs> That was the last one before he died. <laughs> yeah, his latest one. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> <laughs> They're both technically correct. Unless there's something in the vaults that we haven't heard of. Uh, um, <laughs> didn't they say that, like, uh, Michael Jackson left songs for an album, like, four years after he's dead? Um, I've heard stuff like that. I mean, a lot of artists just have unreleased songs because they record more than actually makes the cut of the album. Right? And they want it to be released after your, after their death? I mean, they release it when they run out of things to release, so like... <laughs> so uh, when they die. There used to be like a... I mean, I don't oh, know. Oh, look through it. <laughs> Go on. There used to be, um... Whoa. I'm feeling... Oh, this is your this is your worst nightmare, Kelly. Yeah, I don't this like is, this. This is you in deep water where there could be sharks and things. Uh, something's gonna show up. Please leave. Ah, uh, no, I don't know how to <laughs> oh, leave God. though. I want to look a little more. <laughs> oh, I know, I know the fact okay, that they I added stopped. this that something is going to show up at some point when you look through that. There's no way that they would just have nothing there. I mean, they could save it for a dramatic moment, maybe. That's true. Uh, General Engel destroys American terrorists' hideout. Okay, so we're using uh. Uh, terrorist language to describe. Yeah, exactly. Americans someone, fighting for their country. Uh, someone has drawn a pair of silly goggles, a big mustache, and a pipe on General Angel's face with blue and yellow crayons. Who could that be? Who could that be? Mm. Um, let me see. So, sorry, uh, is there a... I think, um, I one, of the, the... one of the D-pads shows you where to go. You're right. Set, what? View set? Or visit set? I think that's the... Uh, Wait, a film set? Yeah, go on set. Um, record your memoirs. Whose room is this? Must be... I have no idea, actually. I'm still learning the characters' names, honestly. Don't worry, there's a good chance that they'll all die. <laughs> Juno's postcard. Oh, it's... Oh, that says... Uh, this who's, might be Caroline's room. <laughs> who's Juno? Um, or it's Juno's... Oh, I gotcha. Never mind. It said Caroline at the top. Um... Hmm. 
I have no idea who Juna is. So that's uh, Paris with uh, Nazi Zeppelins over it. Wait, this might be Caroline's room, because I think this is for Caroline from someone uh, named Juna. Oh, okay. Yeah. That kind of makes sense in a way. So that's set. All right. Um, Just wander around looking for set. Oh, oh there no, we go. There, there, are, uh, there are objective markers in this game. Those so, yeah. are big shells over there. Holy. I mean, what are they called? Uh, uh, torpedoes? Torp torpedoes. <laughs> Although that's a lot smaller than the one that you sent Caroline out on. Oh, is Seth like Seth? Okay, he's the doctor. Oh. Ah! Monkey! Cat. What the fuck? Possum. Is this just mad German science or Jewish science? The this body of squirrel monkey? With a cat's head on it. So he's making chimeras now, apparently. Yeah. Actually, that's pretty smart. Make a demon to go hunt your rats for you. I mean, cats can already kind of climb over everything and sit on your shoulder if you train them, I mean. <laughs> but monkeys are easier to train. Yeah, yeah. Like, he just defensively <laughs> took out his his axe. <laughs> so, so Go me to kill shot. Go me to kill it. <laughs> Wow, they're really talking a lot about this monkey. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, Half-Life, when you first meet the, like, uh, head crab. Mm. It's like the pet of the scientist. Yeah, even the scientist looks a little bit similar. Mm -hmm. Or no, sorry, he was one of the bald scientists, right? Yeah. That's right. Okay, I get it. Spare me the science, Mumbo Jumbo. Always my favorite trope. I don't understand your science. Just tell me what it does. Just give me a gun and point me in the right direction. So he's like, you got to make sure that he doesn't have any lasting brain damage from the coma he's been in for a while. And the explosion that caused said coma. A scar go all the way around his head? Yeah. Holy. I think it's getting bigger too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now we get to learn how to shoot. I was experimenting with an old German drone I love how that's just the phrase now. I love that he used uh, Meshuggah, which is my favorite Jew <laughs> Jewish, uh, or sorry, Yiddish word. <laughs> Your favorite Yiddish metal band? I'm going to assume that's a Meshuggah song. That could be. They're all like, so they sound like a heartbeat that's slowing down. Wait, there's something. There's weapons to your sets note. The armor Caroline wears is, I must say, beyond fascinating. Such details, such craftsmanship, almost flawless in execution. Sorry, a truly fantastic example of that. Of dot yishud oh, yeah. air engineering. That's so that's the old Jewish organization that made they, advanced technology. They are yishud. Okay, I can't even stop looking at it whenever I'm around Caroline. Well, well, created maybe around the 18th century. Holy shit! Very difficult <laughs> yeah. to pinpoint exact date. I even hear about this when I was a little boy chick. <laughs> from story. Why does he write the way he talks? <laughs> that's not like. Because, I mean, I, well, it's a language thing. Nobody writes in their dialect. They just speak their dialect and they write standard English or whatever, right? Or whatever language. I mean, I stutter while I write. That's not true, Just Kelly. to match my language. You fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> Even a klutz could wear this and become the greatest athlete in the world. The engineers hid encrypted messages inside the lining of the suit, uh, which I have been trying to decipher, but I have bupkiss so far. I would mm. write that. Anyways... Uh, we'll return to it one day, if I have the time, and Caroline dies. Yeah, what's that? Paintbrushes. You're behind uh, you, I think they're on a table. A table? Concept. Concept. Oh, nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's the magnet generator thingy for the f- Hey, it's her. She's out of her uh, Nazi garb now. Uh, yeah. Wait. Does she- can you not talk to her? There's no, like, square S to talk? Nah, Sigrun is, uh, enraptured in her picture book. And a map. Perfect. So, okay. uh, set let loose a German drone that is now terrorizing the the U-boat. So I have to uh, I have to find it. Which, in its way, is still kind of um, Jesus. There's a lot of uh, notes on here. Unknown Nazi scientist notes. Professor Schilling. Following the catastrophic failure of the so-called crocoduck experiments, <laughs> which genetically generated <laughs> animal hybrids, a more crude approach was decided upon. Here I will detail the latest experiment for you. 
Subject A's head was removed carefully and placed in the vat containing the preservation liquid developed by the research team in Paris. Subject B's body was ta then taken out of the vat, which was also being preserved in the same liquid and prepared for conjoining. Subject A's head was subsequently <laughs> attached to Subject B's neck. While there was no movement, this seemed to be mostly reflexatory, and there was unfortunately no signs of consciousness from Subject A. <clears throat> The experiment was aborted, and it was determined that more research was needed. Specifically, more day out issued parchments were needed to fill in the missing um, pieces of the puzzle. So this is something that the dead sheet had, had made at some point before, is the people from Mars attacks? Uh-huh. Okay. Go kill a drone. I'm going to kill this drone now. <laughs> yeah, go shoot a drone. I'm, it's been a couple minutes since I shot something. So. Yeah, just itching for it. Now, remember... Yeah. Cover shooter. I remember. Even if it's a drone. I hate that they shoot back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is also the second game we've played with a drone in it. Oh yeah, you're right actually. <laughs> Good start. So, I'm gonna uh. fucking kill you, drone. I think All you right. have to hop. I think you can hop over. Oh really? Yeah, this isn't, um, Fallout 3, where your dad is training you to shoot cockroaches. That's a pretty good part. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's okay. I, I like the I like the conceit of like being a child. Yeah, I did too. And then I grew up, and the and life got hard. <laughs> That's just like real life. Yeah. Oh no. What were were you talking about a game or something? Uh, no. Okay. No. So yeah, I think you can hop over the the barricade, and I think this is hunt down the drone instead of okay. Just uh, I thought I had to go to a different shooting range or something. <laughs> no. Fifteen, twenty-one. Mm. Okay. Helta. So I think it, yeah, you're still, what the fuck? your max health is still 50, so you're going to, I think it went upstairs. Oh, nope, it's downstairs. This is a weird paced thing. Yeah. Just, just kill it. Just kill it, Dave. There you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what is that? What if I that? die then? Yeah. I'll uh, kill the dog. Because it's a nasty dog. Okay. Okay, cool. Anyway, that was cool. That was cool. Now you gotta return to set. Nothing else down here? Just a bunch of... Oh, it's like a fake, um... Like, you... SWAT team training thing. Yeah, yeah. Like every, you know, like the first mission in every Call of Duty game. Yeah. <laughs> where it sets your difficulty based on how <laughs> fast you get through the obstacle course. Mm hmm Or Arma, where if you accidentally shoot one of your friends, you go to jail in real time. Oh, is that how, is that how Arma ends? <laughs> you should... I don't think I ever got past the section where I went to jail because I accidentally shot one of my friends during basic training. Does Arma have a, um, does it have, like, a story or something? I, I thought it was just, like, a simulator. I believe it did. Okay. I just remember, like, that being the one where, like, people would, like, get crazy, like, early VR rigs to, like... Oh, this is? You oh. can just train if you want to. I no, I don't want it no, anymore. That's okay. I'm backing out. Not that you know how to shoot or anything. Not that I could even hit all the targets if I wanted to. Who are you? I think she'll be your quartermaster. Hmm. There are several Nazis, I heard. Oh wow, yeah. There's a gun. Another gun. Is the laser shotgun in there? I don't think so. Okay. Well, anyway, go back to go return to set. I am uh, anxious to get to the American mainland so I can uh, re um, reclaim the territory. I am anxious. <laughs> Thumbs up. Um, I am anxious to get to land in general. Mm. I like this little uh, cubby this thing has. Yeah, that's cute. Um, oh, there we go. The American resistance cell in uh, New York. So go back to Caroline's room. You remember where that is? Oh, uh, yeah. Caroline's note. Uh, I'm not gonna read all this. But well, Man wait, Manhattan, New Orleans, Appalachian Mountains. Scroll down a bit. Um, those would have more details, information. Juno gave me, of course. Come and see me if you want to know more. Okay, so we're talking about possible resistance locations, I guess. Yeah, and New Orleans has Tim Horton. Oh, uh, and New Orleans is a ghetto. It says where Nazis place American dissidents. Ooh, interesting. And make coffee. Um, sure. Is it a bomb? There's a lot of stuff. I can't read his diary. No, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. Um, okay. Oh, now they're talking about German bands. <laughs> Some Krautrock? <laughs> Is that what it's called? 
Uh, yeah, there's a uh, a genre of music called kraut rock, which is from the 70s and I guess you're early right. 80s. Um, a lot of the musicians that uh, this is her face, right? What's her name? Um, Irene Ingo. Isn't she deaf? Not deaf's head, but she was the one that just cut off uh, Caroline's head. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Didn't she have a different name? Nope. Nazi bitch or something? Yeah, I mean, that's true. Okay. That was her uh, nom de plume uh, behind you. <laughs> like, there yeah. we go. I, yeah. Okay, Anya. Anya. I think you gotta, Anya. you gotta find the hot spot. There we go. It's like Shadows of War. You gotta sneak up behind her and assassinate her. I can still smell her. I mean, she can probably also smell her on your suit, because mm. I think Caroline probably wore that for a long time. He's been back on his feet again. It would be pretty gross to wear somebody else's power armor. Yeah, a little bit. Are Iron Man's suits self-cleaning, you suppose? Or, uh... He probably is pretentious enough that when it comes off of him, it goes through like a pressure washer. Because mm. he wants to seem clean and, and camped. So, go talk to Fergus. He probably isn't too happy that he only has one arm now. Another what if, journal. He, what if he got a crazy metal arm? Like, what if he had a crazy better arm? I honestly, like, I'm... The fact that uh, Fergus is me in the title card is good because I'm one of those people that, like, once the metal, once the like mechanical arm is perfected, I'll cut off my left arm and get a real one, get a, a mechanical one. In all seriousness, Kelly, I would, I think that everybody's teeth should be taken out of birth and replaced with the porcelain ones. <laughs> it's like so much better, like because they don't fuck up and like rot out and like kill you and stuff. Yeah, that's true, and you wouldn't have to like take care of them as hard as you do. No, no, you just have to like bleach them once in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Or remove them and put new ones in. Yeah, that's true. What happened to your face? They just tried to kill me in Glasgow last week. Ooh. Oh, he might be going crazy. Have you ever drifted off peacefully to sleep, only to be brutally awoken by your own prosthetic arm savagely? Mm. Oh my god. Oh, yep, he might be going crazy. Is that normal? What's that say? Something about there being a... Why don't you just use the technology that uh, Set has developed to add a human arm? This is um, a conceit that was explored in uh, the film Idle Hands. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That uh, 90s classic. Yeah. <laughs> Featuring uh, Jessica Alba as the girl next door, literally. And in all honesty, that movie scared me when I was a kid. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never wanted to look at my ceiling when I was sleeping, and I was afraid that something was always under my bed. Yeah. Even, like, the Adams Family, that hand. What's the hand called? Do you know? Uh... Thing? Thing, yeah. Yeah. That kind of freaks me out. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Why did they steal it from somebody else? Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's a uh, German technology. Because he, he's referring, he's gendering his arm. And yeah. I'm not really sure why. Oh, but maybe it's just like a typical, like, like a car or something. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, men, because they, they like to name things after women because they think they can control it better. They like to have possessions, yes. Isn't that right, Google? Yeah, that's right. She knows her place. Oh. I do feel a little bad barking orders to Alexa at home. Yeah, I wish I, could Echo. I wish I could switch her to the British guy. John Oliver? Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I would love hey, John that. Oliver, turn my light bulb to red, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Let me give you a half-hour uh, conversation <laughs> about some country that's in despair right now that you have no idea about. You want your closing monologue? Well, too bad. <laughs> uh, so we are going to New York now, I think. Okay. Yeah. Bombade is wearing, like, a taxi cab dashiki. I, oh, he is too. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. That's a crazy taxi dashiki. <laughs> he's one of the drivers for Crazy Taxi. I love that game series because it was completely made irrelevant by a game called Grand Theft Auto, which just had that in the game yeah, <laughs> as a side mission. Had all the features that that game had, plus yeah. plus you could kill prostitutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> plus guns. Um, so yeah, in case you didn't know, the Nazis have nuked America. I think they nuked Manhattan. Mm. Which is how they won. That's how we won, too. <gasps> what's, well. what's Sigrun's gonna do? Hmm. <gasps> they blew it up. Those, Those bastards. bastards. <laughs> hey, 
I like it that they uh, like automatically integrate her into the team. There's no like, uh, yeah, I mean, like mistrust or anything. I can't imagine that she would be a deep cover agent or something. I mean, like, not necessarily because of how she looks or anything, just that like the situation in which she joined the team. Yeah, I don't think she's exactly going back to her mother, unless no. that was a whole big ploy between them. Hey, look, we're back on a ship. But we, <laughs> I, I mean, in that case, their ploy was to, like, th their ploy would have been to, like, have us captured and then let us go again. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, that's, yeah, that makes sense. That's the part that makes sense. It's the, um, knowing that, no, I think everyone, everything in that plan would have been right. Kill the person with the power suit, give it to Blaskowitz, because he's not too smart. And then just kind of, like, uh, put a plant in, in terms of Ingrid, because who's going to believe that she's a plant? Hmm. You can uh, boot that, I think. Oh, okay. Or not? I think you need a laser weapon. Yeah, that's true. Do I have any? Which a weapon wheel? No. Uh, I think it's yeah. There you go. Oh, you there do you have go. a laser weapon. The laser last laser craft. Laser work. craft back. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> it's like a Metroidvania like. Yeah, it kind of is actually. Yeah. <laughs> or like, uh, what was the first person one for GameCube? Metroid. Um, um... Metroid uh, Prime. Prime. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> New York? 